This how-to video will show you how to set up a Hamilton S1 ventilator for ventilation on a specific patient. However, the procedure is exactly the same for the Hamilton G5 ventilator. This educational video does not replace the relevant instructions for use. Be sure to read the device's operator's manual, as well as instructions for use that accompany the humidifier or other devices, breathing circuits, and other consumables. Pay particular attention to important safety and hygiene information. Setting up ventilation generally takes just a few steps. You can complete the whole procedure in less than one minute. Before connecting a new patient to the ventilator, select the right patient group and sex, and then specify the patient's height. The ventilator calculates the patient's ideal body weight. It is important to enter the correct patient data because the ventilator uses it as a basis for certain calculations and initial mode control settings. If you have already performed the pre-operational checks, you don't need to repeat them. The test results are stored in the ventilator's memory, even when it is turned off. Make sure that the setup you calibrated is not changed or altered while the ventilator is in storage. If you haven't already done so, perform the pre-operational checks now. To start ventilation quickly for a new patient, you can use a default ventilation mode with all the settings pre-configured. The default mode, together with a selected patient group, is displayed in the upper right corner. Touch Controls to review and adjust the control settings. To review and adjust the alarms, touch the Alarms button. Then, touch the Alarm Control and adjust it. For each patient group, you can select a default ventilation mode and all the settings relevant for that mode. To start ventilation, touch Start Ventilation. To change any control settings, select and adjust the setting or touch Controls and access all the available settings. The change takes effect immediately. To enable, disable, or adjust the tube resistance compensation, touch Additions and open the TRC window. This function is disabled by default. If needed, open the Psi window to enable or disable Psi. If you need to change basic patient data, touch Patient and adjust the settings as needed. If needed, you can change the active ventilation mode. Just select the desired mode and confirm. The controls window opens. Review and adjust the control settings as needed. And then touch Confirm to activate the new mode. After changing the ventilation mode, you should review the alarm settings. To review and adjust the alarms, touch the Alarms button. Then select the alarm control and adjust it. To set alarm limits quickly, touch the Auto button. All alarm limits, except for the tidal volume and apnea alarms, will be set automatically around the current monitoring parameter values. To stop ventilation, press the Standby key. Then, touch Activate Standby. The device enters Standby, and the yellow counter shows the time elapsed in this mode. Note that while using IntelliCuff, you must first deflate the cuff and turn off IntelliCuff before turning off the ventilator. To turn off the ventilator, press the power button on the back of the ventilator.